Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here uh, and want to be part of the family, hit that subscription button down below. I promise you, I will not disappoint. And if you guys enjoy some part of today's video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on today's video. I would appreciate it so, so, so much. Um, with that said, you guys can tell by the title of the video, big things are happening in 2019. I told you that um, last year that I, I wanted to be able to scale this business and if you guys are new here um, and don't know I've been doing phone flipping for about a year and a couple of months now I uh, started it out of my college dorm room and um, I never thought it would get to the point where I'm doing it as my full-time job out of college like I never took a nine to five I pretty much went full full send I guess you could say for it with it um, doing it out of my apartment basically and I really haven't got like an office or anything like that and I've made a video I'll, I'll link it up here um, that you guys can go check it out um, if I'm able to find it but a couple months ago I talked about if I like how to scale the business and obviously there's a couple ways you can create an online um, kind of buyback website or just like one of those online sites where people send you in phones uh, you can kind of buy from other just resellers in the industry or you can kind of approach it with a cell phone shop retail location um, and if you guys haven't watched that video I actually had mentioned that I probably will never go into the retail location but again you guys are here for the probably the title of the video 2019, it's set. I, I, I've been working on the plans for a little while now. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the who, what, when, where, and why of creating a cell phone shop um, repair and buy-ins. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about each point. Not going to make this too long, but um, this is just the start of the journey. So with that said, let's get right into today's video. So this is something I am obviously super excited about um, and like I've been working on the plans for about a month now. Uh, it just kind of kind of came to me. Um, I don't remember if I came up with the idea. I th uh, it's definitely from somebody else that had uh, kind of spoken to me about it. But a lot of you are going to be asking, Kish, is this something you're going in by yourself um, or are you going to be going with a partner? And actually I'm going to be opening up a cell phone repair shop with a partner. Um, I'm not going to say his name yet, but he's definitely going to have a presence on this YouTube channel. Um, I didn't really get his approval to be on this channel yet, but I know he's going to have no regrets with it. Um, he's trying to create a personal brand himself, and I actually met him at an event here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, he actually DM'd me first through a mutual connection or something like that. And we started talking, and he had similar passions. He's actually been... Um, in the phone flipping game for a little bit longer than me or a couple years longer So I guess that's a lot in, in retrospect that I've only been doing this for a, mo a year and a couple months But with that said, I'm gonna be going with a partner on it one It kind of splits the startup costs in half uh, which I could do by myself technically, but it would be cutting it pretty close um, And I'm not gonna be talking about price yet because I don't want to give you guys some number and then be totally off with it But with that said, this is going to be something I'm gonna be documenting literally till inception and after inception of the cell phone shop, uh, bringing me to my second question, what, again, I'm gonna be opening up a cell phone shop, and what I actually wanna do with it is not only have it be a cell phone shop, but also buy and sell um, there as well. So, I mean, whether that's buying phones off of eBay, they can maybe refurbished, or buying them from local people and either selling them to buyers on eBay, um, or resell them back locally. I honestly don't know the legality of things. I know some shops, I've done a lot of research on it, do not have um, like the ability to sell, they'll just buy or whatever like that. So I don't really know what the regulations are on that. Again, I've only been doing it for about a month now, but I'm not making this video in hopes that I'm going to be opening a cell phone repair shop. Like we've put the budget aside, like it's literally on the side in my savings account. Like I've budgeted it there. Uh, I, I'm not going to touch in. If anything, I'm just going to add more money to it if I need to. But when? So and a lot of you are going to ask like how long is it going to take? So. We obviously, we can't give you an exact date or anything like that, but with that said, I would love to, we're shooting for a, a June kind of opening, so about six months. I figured that's enough time. If anything, it's gonna be sooner than that, simply because when you sign a lease, uh, usually you get in it within 30 days, so it depends. We're not gonna sign something uh, and then wait like 60 days to get in because we'd be paying a month rent and not having any income towards it. So we've been looking at a couple of retail locations of Colorado Realtors, just gonna kind of getting a feel of what a rental location is kind of going for in the area. Uh, right now the budget is looking about 2,500 or less per month uh, for it. And 
disclaimer for the video, if you guys are own a cell phone repair shop or know anybody that has or has one or has any sort of knowledge in that space of opening up a cell phone repair shop, me and my partner would love for you to give a comment on the video. Let me know what you guys think, whether you had failures with it, whether you still have it open, whether you have multiple locations. I want to know your guys' perspective on it. I don't want any comments saying you shouldn't do it or anything like that, but just tell me your experiences with that and if you have any advice in anything I say in this video. Again, I'd appreciate a comment below, like in the comment section. It would mean the world to me. Um, just because I'm learning as we go, like I, we, are, we just came up with our actual name for it. We're gonna try to figure out whether it's an LLC or an S Corp. I don't really know how that works for retail locations, uh, but we too have, um, we're looking at a gentleman that's gonna be helping us uh, with that kind of the legal side of it. And I've looked at other websites. I've looked at the competition. We've kind of scoped it out. And that's kind of brings me to the where. Um, again, this cell phone shop is gonna be opening up in Phoenix, Arizona for now, which is gonna be one location. I would never try to do more than one at a time like you once if this is something that I can be able to grow maybe I might open up another shop probably within the same state but again I have to kind of figure out demographics and stuff like that so I'm not going to tell you guys necessarily where I'm going to put the shop we don't even know but we have some sort of like grid location based on demographics kind of the people the potential people that could be around that area and obviously nicer places have higher rent so there's just a lot of pros and cons of trying to figure out what we want to slack on in some areas and which one we want why we want to push more money in in some areas because of the benefit of it but obviously we're trying to look next to a location maybe like a Verizon, AT&T, uh, Sprint or T-Mobile, maybe Metro PCS. We've been looking at those kind of locations where there's a lot of foot traffic that has to do with something related to the cell phone industry because obviously that would attract attract a lot of like walk-ins for repairs, cell phone cases, uh, glass protectors, anything you name it, we're going to pretty much uh, try to change the game in this. And then uh, the biggest kind of part of this who, what, when, where is the last, and that is why. So a lot of you might be asking, Kish, why are you opening up a cell phone repair shop? I thought you hated retail locations. Or like you, you, a couple of videos ago, you said it was such a bad idea. You thought retail was going out. And I know a lot of you, some of you, or I, at least some of you are probably going to say it's a bad uh, thing to do or whatever like that. But for me, one, it was a very plausible way to be able to scale this business. There's only so much you can do at home, and it's crazy to see how big some people just do from like their living room in terms of numbers. But for me, what I've learned is what I've learned, and from like to be able to do legit business in this industry, I feel a retail location is the end all be all, and it's something you could you could really scale, not necessarily scale within one shop. But potentially if that one shop does really well, you can expand to other different shops. And it's not, again, limited to one state. I, I could pretty much put it in any state I technically wanted to. So I'm pretty excited about that. Like the future has a lot of potential for it. And again, I wanted to go in it on a partner. One, because he brings a lot of knowledge to the table. Super smart guy. He's kind of become a mentor of mine as well. So this probably isn't the only business venture we're going to go in. But this is something I'm literally going to spend probably 15, 16 hours a day at. So I'm super excited about that. It's going to be happening hopefully by June. I'm going to be documenting the journey, pretty much everything that I can legally um, and that isn't going to potentially hurt my business. I'm going to bring that as something on this channel and potentially what we're thinking is we're probably going to create a second channel as well, documenting that cell phone shop's journey, whether it's um, vlogs every day we might hire some sort of videographer to be able to vlog us every single day or it might just be us in the beginning um, trying to going through the failures the ups and downs whatever it may be in that shop we want to document as much as we can so a second channel might be in the works for something like that or it might be on this channel we don't really know yet but we want to go a personal brand around it and this is something where um, you guys can come visit like come see us even though you're probably not gonna get your phone repaired or anything like that uh, uh, as I know a lot of you are on that reseller side so you probably wouldn't go to somewhere like a retail location but it's somewhere you guys can stop in say what's up maybe we can chat if you guys are interested in learning more about like how just to get in the phone flipping game or possibly open up a retail location we're gonna be able to help you out my again my partner super smart and he does a lot more on the repair side of things and he knows a lot about Androids as well so those are two of my weaknesses in this industry um, so I I'm really excited about what the future holds this video isn't something where you guys can see a shop or like see numbers or anything like that but I wanted to make it apparent um, and just kind of like 
the, when I release a video on this channel, it's like I have to commit myself to it. So this is just an extra level of commitment for me. Um, so whenever I have any doubts about it, I could just go back to this video and you guys can see like I'm super excited about this And so if I ever have doubts, I can always go back to this video and be like what kind of mindset did I have there? And so I can get out of that and it's just kind of like an extra boost for me to be honest um, And just so you guys can just kind of know what's up in my life I mean, that's why I created the channel. So if you guys are excited about it I hope you guys are I'm trying to hype this video a little bit as much as I can But uh, if you guys did enjoy it, definitely give it a thumbs up and if you guys aren't part of the family yet Hit that subscription button down below. So that's pretty much all I have for you today, guys. So with that said, I'll catch you in the next video.